Welcome to Brent's Anime Recommendation Corner, where today I'm going to talk about an anime that I love, but is not an easy watch. It is called Now and Then, Here and There. Um, this is an anime series made by um, Akutar Daichi, who is well known for his comedies. Uh, and the thing about Now and Then, Here and There is that uh, this is not a comedy in any way, shape, or form. Uh, this, I'm just going to spoil it, um, well, I'm not going to spoil the, the, the plot, but the premise, um, you know all those stories about like child soldiers in Africa? And what happens in Africa when children get brought into war and all that? This is that, just in a fantasy world. So our main character is a uh, very typical kind of shonen boy uh, living in his town in Japan who gets pulled in to this fantasy world and this, uh, this girl that he sees, um, who he tries to help, uh, and he ends up getting pulled into a really, really terrible fantasy world, um, uh, where everything is, uh, falling apart. Um, he ends up getting, uh, just attacked by, oh, let's just say, you know, um, other kids with guns, which is fun. Um, trying to find a good example here, um, because, yeah, like, you've got literally kids with rifles in this show, um, because they have, they're part of this kid's army, basically. Uh, this is a show about, well, I'm gonna see if I can show you. Um, there's, one of my favorite elements of this show is how all this stuff happens, um, and he finds himself there, and uh, there's a line, uh, they're not going to show it. Um, as he realizes he's not on Earth anymore, um, he says this, this line, uh, where the hell am I? And that becomes kind of the theme of the show. Because as time goes on, and as he witnesses other people's behavior... And how they are, how inhuman they are. He repeats this line, and it becomes kind of the the watchword for how horrific this scenario is, and the things that happen, and the things that people do to other people. Um, there's a wonderful moment, and I'll see if I can show you here, uh, where he is attacked, um, chased by one of these these kids, um, and they end up on these railings. Uh, one of the kids falls off uh, uh, the railing in this in this fight. Uh, a knife fight, yay. Um, the other boy just goes over, you know. He he falls. He's he's done. And so, what does our protagonist do? Of course, he does the shonen thing. He comes after him and grabs him. And the other boy cannot conceive this. He cannot understand why his enemy would show him mercy. And this is a thing that gets, gets to where this, this, this show goes. Um, there's a lot of abuse in this show in many ways. Um, it's also a show about war. So, you know... People die. Um, it's a tough show to watch. Uh, I will say there's abuse of many kinds. But I think it's an important show. It's the kind of show that should be seen and should be experienced. Partly because, despite all of this, this is a show made by a man who has something to say. And he is saying it not simply to make you feel depressed. He is not doing it just to make you feel bad. He is doing it to make you think and feel and have an opinion about something. And open your eyes about something. Um, the ending, again, no plot spoilers, it's not happy. 
but it feels right. I will also say it's one of those one of those shows where I got to the final episode and I thought they could kill off every character in the last episode or they could you know everyone we ha- have so far could survive and those would both feel like appropriate endings. Um I hold this show very near and dear to my heart because it was a very difficult show. Um but I feel like I'm a better person for having watched it. Um, I am, I was deeply moved by this show in a way that I rarely am in anime. Um, again, it's, it's a lot, it's difficult, um, but I think it is absolutely worth it. And that's why I love it.